I've just been training, you know, uh, staying busy with, with training, traveling. Uh, Nate Diaz has a fight coming up, so trying to help him get ready to watch him uh, take the 155 pound title. What's going on with you? Uh, 185 is still weight class for you? I think I'm probably going to drop it down to 70s. My weight is just, you know, I've been trying to lift, but it's eating so much, trying to stay up. My weight just stays around the light 190s. So I think if I. Uh, so, you know, I think at that point, you know, most of the 70 pounders are on there, so might as well just drop back down, but nothing 100% determined yet. When can we maybe expect that? Uh, I'm thinking February, so looking like probably a February return. And uh, talk about training with Nate. Uh, how's he doing right now? Man, Nate's a beast. He's, you know, looking looking better than ever. Everything's coming together. I can't wait. I want to go out there and uh, obviously it's going to be a good fight with him and Benson, but I think Nate's going to go out there and take the title. What do you think uh, Benson provides stylistically for problems for Nate? Um, give him good kicks, you know. Nate's got to watch the late kicks, probably try to pick kick, kick, kick stay distance kicks uh, good takedowns I see him maybe trying to take Nate down and trying to uh, you know the few fights Nate's lost been taken down by you know lost by decision so I think Benson might try to follow that up that pattern because Nate's definitely a tough guy to finish I know you're good friends with Gilbert Melendez he's kind of had a rough stretch how's he doing uh, he finally just started getting back in the gym you know he separated the shoulder so he's been out the last I don't know month two whatever that was but he's just uh, I think the first lot la la this was his first weekend there he's not going 100% but he's moving around and he's looking good and I think next week he'll hopefully be able to start pushing harder on it. Does he have a positive outlook right now? No, he does. I think he's looking at a, a pretty uh, return in the next couple months. So as he seems to be moving, and I think they're going to have a fight again, uh, hopefully in January. There's been rumors, though, that Strike Force is maybe going to go under. Is that kind of in the back of his conscience? I mean, that, that's got to be, because I've heard those rumors, too. I have no idea if there's any truth not to that, but there's definitely been those rumors floating around, and I'm sure Gears, Gil's hearing them. We haven't really, uh, I haven't really talked to him about it, but I'm, I mean, I couldn't imagine not be in the back of his head. But Are you guys kind of keeping your fingers crossed, hoping that maybe that does happen so that Gil can go to the UFC? I think at this point, I think he's just ready you know, to fight either way. You know, he wants to fight in the UFC, of course, because that's you know, where the best of the best is, but uh, Strike Force has also treated him well and paid him well, so I think either way, he just uh, he just wants to fight, you know. He's he was really bummed after hurting his shoulder. He right before the fight, you know, he's peeking out. It was a couple weeks before the fight, or like a week and a half before the fight. He was feeling amazing. So to have hold, hurt his shoulder, he was really bummed, and he's just hungry to get back out there and uh, fight. Hopefully, they throw in front of him. When's the last time you seen Nick? I've seen I haven't seen Nick honestly. I think six weeks or two months. It's been a little while. I think he's been training, but I haven't been out to Lodi that much. Is that kind of unusual that you haven't seen him that long? Yeah, no, I usually see him a lot more than that, but I mean, there has been times when Nick's disappeared a little bit. I mean, I, I know Nate's seen him, and he's been doing a lot of bike riding and some triathlons, and uh, I'm pretty sure he's actually been in the gym training, but I just haven't, uh, I haven't been out to Lodi that much, so I haven't seen him out there. And what do you think about Nick, you know, having to possibly face another contender after coming back, even though guys like Chael Sonnen are getting title shots, more so talking their way into it? I just think, you know, it, it's a tough decision you know I think uh, I'm sure he'll have a big fight one way or another I think that's all that really matters and Nick will uh, Nick will be ready because even though he's had a lot of time off he's still been training so and are you and uh, Nick gonna be sort of the Gil and Nate of the 170 pound division um, you know I hope so we'll see what happens like I said me and Nick have said we'll never fight each other under any circumstances so we'll go out there and, uh, and see what happens you know if Nick gets that title then I mean I fought at 85 so I'm not against moving back up so what are your thoughts on some of the 170 pounders? That division seems like really stacked right now. Johnny Hendricks, John Fitch, Martin Kamen, you know, guys like that. Um, you've been in, in the ring with a, with a few of those guys, some, yeah. some grinders. Um, where does that place you if you do go back to 170? Uh, it's a tough division, but you know, I think I've beaten a lot of the top guys. You know, I've already beaten Condon, Campman, uh, you know, tough fights, of course, but those right there are two of the very top guys. So I think, uh, you know, I think I can do quite well there. Is there anything you want to tell our readers before we let you go, Jake? Uh, no, just thanks for the support. You know, I can't wait to get back out there and, uh, and fight again.